um, I kept getting a vision of what to me looks like a, a, a V. So I felt that one part of the land went up on a slope uh -huh. like this way. The other one went this way like a V. Does that mean anything? I'm not sure. And maybe it'll ring a bell with you as the day goes on. Like maybe you're just something you're not thinking of. Um, you want to step into the house because I'm sensing something was weird with the doors. What happened and, with the doors? Okay, so at, every night I would make sure that the doors were always locked and bolted while I was upstairs sleeping. Not once, not twice, not three times, but four times it's happened in this house where you hear a loud noise in the middle of the night and come downstairs, all the doors open. I'm not the only one who experienced it. As a matter of fact, a friend of mine who lives in Paris came, came to LA last week, and I was telling him I was going to go back to this home. And he goes, do you remember that one morning when we came downstairs, all the doors were open, and all of these cupboards, every single one of them, and the drawers were open and out. Mm hmm That's crazy. That's crazy. It was ridiculous how many times mm -hmm. the alarm would go off for no reason. And they would come to the house, and one, one time one of the police or the, the security said, this is ridiculous. They go, there's got to be ghosts in this house. That would have to be a really energetic entity to unlock, unlatch, and push It doesn't open. make sense. OK, I've heard of And have all the drawers and cupboards. I've heard of that many, many times, many, many times, OK? Um, usually, it could be a little bit poltergeist activity. Yeah. This could be a poltergeist, which is energy that is taunting, and it's negative, and it really wants to bring its victim down. And I'm really hoping that's not what this is. And so when the doors would open up, you know, of course, the alarm would go off. Sure, most of the time, it would be for no reason. Um, and my chihuahuas can't trigger it. This is lovely. What's, I want to go up here. Yeah, that's okay. Absolutely. Because I was. Oh my goodness. Oh, well. Okay, my God. This is that V I was seeing, which would be this side of the mountain. Look at how it slants down. And that slides down. I, okay, I see. You and get the V? Um, but I, I, I don't quite know how this connects to you. The crazy thing is, it, all those homes in there, that's the, that's the Maholland Estates in there. And those are the homes where you are from. Or this, this is where you said you, you came from. Look, yes. we're facing it. Yes. So, so in, in a strange way, you're facing your past. That's interesting. Yeah. I loved living there. And I remember, like, living here and seeing there, it sometimes would make me sad. I, I felt like home, and yeah. this didn't. No, mm -hmm. never did. I kind of feel you were drawn here, though, for a higher reason. I feel like sometimes the house picks us. I didn't pick this house. I, I listened to someone who said, this was the house. I learned a very valuable lesson because I know to trust my gut. I've had a couple of experiences, actually a few experiences with the paranormal. I have, I lived in a gated community the first, first time that I experienced it. In, in these estates um, in Mulholland and I was one of the first, I'd say 10, families that that purchased the homes. Actually, my home was still being built. And um, I love the house. It's beautiful. I had a lot of people over all the time. 
And it was probably into my third year of living there that I started noticing things. I always felt certain things, but I started actually physically experiencing and seeing with my own eyes. Little things like a flash of light that would go by in daylight, in daylight, and it would just zoom by. And of course, I'm by myself, so I can't say, did you see that, did you see that? But then my mom was over and she experienced it by herself and said, I swear to God, I just saw a flash of light. And then I said to, to my friend, see, I told you. And I went, she goes, you've experienced that? I go, yeah, but I wouldn't tell you because that sounds like I'm crazy. But that started happening. And then weird things like in the middle of the day, see, because in the daytime, this happened. Fun, funny things like all of a sudden, all the TVs would go on from downstairs and upstairs. And as soon as you turn on the light, a second later, the lights went off. Vacuum cleaners were going by themselves. I'm not kidding. It was so bizarre. And then it was get. And at the time, I had two of my friends that were remodeling their home live with me. So they were freaking out because they were experiencing it. Then many years later, after I moved there, I ended up in another home. And I had my um, my longest relationship is is my she's my housekeeper but she's my family now and she's she's lasted the longest in my relationship 28 years so i you know she's a keeper for life i i love her and i love her entire family she lived there lived at this home part-time with me and we both had some major experiences at at this home um, not as pleasant definitely not jovial just weird and off-putting and and uncomfortable and nothing about that house from the day that I moved in and I was I was looking at other homes I was encouraged to meet this feng shui master and he looked at the different homes with me and there's one home here in Beverly Hills that was just such a jewel box that I loved and he said the energy wasn't good he convinced me to purchase the home that I did and told me that I had to put troughs of water in the front and in the back for good energy, health, finances. From the day that I moved in, I can't, I can't quite articulate why or what made me feel that way. I just didn't feel good energy. Just didn't. It just never felt good.